Hello everybody, today I've come up with the topic that how many seats are available for CSIR NET LS and CSIR NET JRF. So for this topic, I've been personally questioned by the CSIR NET aspirant where I found them confused about what is the total number of seats for JRF as well as LS. So therefore, today I have come up with the basic analysis of it based on the previous CSIR net exam that has happened. So let's dive in into the session and understand the mathematics behind the same. So the first question that it comes to you, is there any fixed number of seats for net, JRF and Alice in the CSIR net exam? So the answer to this question is no. There are not any fixed number of seats for JRF in the net exam in theory. So how come the total number of JRF awardees as well as the seats are decided for every session? Is it based on any cutoff score? Yes, it is based on the cutoff score. So actually CSR and UGC, they set up a cutoff score and the candidates who are securing more than an equal to this cutoff are awarded a JRF ship. So this being said, I will contradict myself what I just said in my upcoming statement. Suppose CSR is setting a cutoff score of 120 out of 200. So out of all the candidates pool, some 6000 students suppose they are qualifying this cutoff. So what do you think? Is CSR that gracious that it will award JRF ship to all those 6000 candidates? No, then what it will do? It will certainly raise the cutoff score, which automatically reduces the number of JRF ship. And this raising of cutoff is totally depends on the median score of the candidates that the candidate is getting, as well as the difficulty level of the question paper. So with the recent trend that CSIR is following, I would strongly suggest people to make sure that they are qualifying or scoring at least 120 to 125 marks out of 200. And this will more or less secure a rank as JRF. So now let's see the recent result that is uh, happened for June 2021. What is the total number of JRF qualified candidates? It is only 873. And what are the total number of lectureship awarded? It is 3452. And according to this, we can just make and come to the conclusion that around 600 to 700 seats are awarded for JRF ship. So you can just set a minimum benchmark of 600 to 700 and make sure that you are qualifying or scoring 120 to 125 marks out of 200. So I hope I have cleared you with the analysis of the same. If you have any doubt regarding the same, you can just write down in the comments tab. So I would just say at last, stay focused to your goal and never give up. So thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel that is Biotechnica. Meet you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Keep learning.